ओके और दैट वी नीड अ डिफिनेशन व्हाट इज द डिफिनेशन ऑफ द बिजनेस कम्युनिकेशन ओके सो कम्युनिकेशन इज द स्किल फर्स्ट कम्युनिकेशन द मीनिंग वी कैन कम कम्युनिकेट आवर थॉट्स वन पर्सन टू अनदर पर्सन वन पर्सन टू अनदर पर्सन ओके सो हियर व्हाट वी कैन डू before starting all the syllabus okay information about the syllabus so student this is your practical subject okay there is no theory paper in this subject <coughs> so the subject is practical subject and this is based on your communication skill okay so in previous semester you study the <coughs> english subject okay so here first if you go through what is the subject explanation okay students so in this subject there is a manual total <coughs> 16 practical is there just i share first so you will better understand okay so students here <coughs> this is the manual for the business communication using the computers so when we using the computers so we talk about the technology by which we communicate to each other like uh, what is the importance of computer so from the computer there is so many software by which we communicate our thoughts and idea to the business purpose uh, for example we writing the email okay and for other purpose we preparing a presentation for our particular subject or topic okay so here we can see yeah <coughs> so this is the list of the practical okay student so first practical is explain the importance of business communication for an organization using case study so in our first practical are what is the that we have to find out we have to make a study for the importance of business communication for an organization so organization may be your institute is also organization uh, any product company is also a organization okay so 
there is a different different type organization and we can use different communication technique on the basis of the organization so like there is a organization divided into three parts okay first service organization where service is providing okay like uh, bank okay and uh, your pwd sector okay and your uh, police station uh, police is uh, indian police or state police is also a service organization your mobile communication mobile networks okay so what is the mobile network provide it is provide the service okay what is the service you can call okay you can call you can send the message you can send the message okay so there is a different different type like a good base service uh, sorry good base organization where the product is there like pen pencil cutter scooter motorcycle bicycle okay different different product is there so organization which is made the product we call the good base organization okay so here so here what we can do here we can see that there are the different organization so on the basis of the organization we can choose the communication method okay like educational organization where you get the organization like our polytechnic engineering education or academic ed education is also there so in the organization educational organization we can divide into the different part like a technical and non technical education organization okay educational organization so what is the professional we can say that the professional as non professional professional means like a medical college engineering college <coughs> pharmaceutical college architecture college so these are the a uh, example of educational organization okay so on the basis of that this is the first practical explain the importance of business communication for an organization using the case study so we need to case study for the <coughs> organizing the business communication skill develop our business communication skill okay so we need use the technique of communication for an organization and we have to study what is the business communication how much business communication is important for an organization so second is drop a job application letter with resume using the computer okay so our second practical is based on we have to we have to may write a job application okay write a job application with your resume okay so when we applying any job so there is two segment first is cover letter that is we call the application okay and second is resume okay so resume is your <coughs> in the resume your aspiration your educational detail is there your hobbies is there and your a strong point is there in which field you are strong enough and your experience detail is also in the resume and application letter or we can say that this is the cover letter which is used for particular job okay 
so the application letter or job application letter is totally based on the organization where you apply for a job where you apply for a job okay so second is you write a letter for the getting a job with your resume so in the second practical we study how we can create or write the application job letter okay so here ne our next practical is what is that mention the example of body language mention the example of body language using at work place with suitable picture and images okay so third practical what is the when we don't talk okay body language means we when we don't talk anybody can observe us what is our wear our costume our shoes okay uh, properly maintain uniform and how we sit okay and uh, under the half an hour or one hour we sitting or waiting for the our uh, viva or interview so within the one hours how our our body behave how, how our body behave okay that is the body language okay so third practical is based on that the fourth practical prepare a minutes of meeting and mail it to give it email address okay so what is the minutes of meeting okay so if there is a meeting after completion of the meeting here is a preparation of minutes of meeting in the minutes of meeting uh, there is the detail what happened what topic is discussed in the meeting and what is the agenda of the meeting all the things present in the a report that we call the minutes of meeting okay <clears throat> so next practical is write the importance of guideline of presentation skill okay so here we can see how we create the presentation to the microsoft powerpoint and what the guideline we take keep in our mind to preparing a presentation okay now practical number 6 draft a detail progress report draft a detail progress report so we have to prepare a presentation for any progress report okay uh, like you can see what is your performance in the first semester and what is your performance in the second semester we have to, you have to create the progress chart for that okay so uh, what you create there is a different subject uh, like a 5 to 6 uh, subject in your first semester and 5 to 6 uh, subject in your second semester so what marks are what marks you get in the final examination what marks you get in the uh, class test unit test and what is your class performance so these are the point where we where you explain your progress okay so on the basis of that point marking system your communication skill your behavior in the class okay your behavior to your colleagues your behavior to your parents and teacher so uh, these are the points by which we create your progress chart by which we can create the progress chart <coughs> okay so next point number 
organize a debate on the type of communication so in the seven number practical so there is a uh, i uh, i create a group five to 10 student and to pervading the different type discussing the different type of communication okay then a summarize and industry repeat using the techniques of summarizing okay so here we can learn to create a industry report using the summarize techniques what is the summarize technique we can discuss at the time okay nine draft a complaint letter on the given topic okay so if you have any complaint then how you write the complaint in a proper language proper communication language so we can learn in the practical number 9 <coughs> okay so practical number 10 what is that design powerpoint presentation on any technical topic okay so you have to create a presentation like uh, you, you are from the mechanical background so you can create a presentation for the boiler okay you can create a presentation for the engineering drawing and or you can create a presentation for the machine shop carpentry shop smithy shop so there is a different different topic i will provide a group of student to create this presentation okay now practical number 11 explain the eight principle of effective communication so here we talk about the a different principle which is very useful for the effective communication okay so practical number 12 explain the various non verbal codes with example so we talk about the non verbal and verbal codes on the practical number 12 okay now practical number 13 explain the importance of the professional appearance setting tips of grooming for a professional so here we going to discuss or explain the importance what you appear personal appearance okay how you look that is very useful very important how you groom yourself to look differently okay if you stand in the crowd then the people easily recognize you you are the different personality in crowd okay that is grooming your soul from crowd okay okay yes i reconnected and i again share the screen <laughs> so 15 is present any two variables to communicate using the case study so what is the most difficult barrier which is demotivate you to start a good communication or start a communication okay so here last is prepare a technical paper using the i triple e format so so last is that create a technical paper using the i triple e format so in the practical number 16 we have to create a technical paper for that there is also a 44 or 55 student group where you create a paper so in the 16 number practical we have to uh, create a paper based on the review okay so
So here we create a review technical paper uh, for any technology which is already invented in our past or in the running situation. Okay. So this is the 16 practical uh, brief detail. Okay. So our first is the what is that? Importance of the business communication for an organization. For an organization. So for that, the important thing is we first know what is the business communication. Okay, for that, I show you a small video where you go through that. Effectiveness in communication is best witnessed in the business environment. This two-hour module takes you through the fundamentals of communication, the Oscar model of communication. This two-hour module effectiveness in communication. Is so, students, communication meaning is doesn't that you communicate only the English. Okay, there is all language in the all language there is a technique or method we can use the communication okay for example in morning anyone can say good morning you reply the same two things reply good morning are same to you okay that is the educates okay koi good morning then you reply the same good morning or you just reply the same to you. Okay? Similarly, then what do you say? Like, in the morning, in Marathi, in Subhudayam, or in Hindi, in the Shuprabhat, if you say that, then you say the same reply. Okay? If you say that you reply, then you are the rude. Arrogant. Like, this way. ठीक है ना तो वो कम्युनिकेशन नहीं है अगर आप रिप्लाई नहीं करते हैं या फिर अपना फेस टर्न कर लेते हैं देयर इज नो रिप्लाई ओके इफ एनीवन से यू गुड मॉर्निंग दे यू कैन रिप्लाई विद अ ब्यूटीफुल स्माइल दैट इज अ गुड मॉर्निंग ओके सो दिस इज योर गुड एडिकेट्स सो गो फर्स्ट गो थ्रू दिस वीडियो then we can discuss what happened in this video. Is best witnessed in the business environment. This two-hour module takes you through the fundamentals of communication, the Oscar model of communication, and business etiquette. And many more learning inputs, such as personal grooming, business and meeting practices, telephone etiquette, and video conferencing etiquette. Okay. So here, as you see, Business communication is nothing but this is the application of these techniques like personal grooming. What is the personal grooming? You increase your vocabulary, you increase your good behavior, okay, and you increase your personality to wearing a good clothes, shoes, proper saving is here, shoe must be polished. Okay, so this is your personal grooming, okay, to look differently, to talk differently, to talk in a proper manner, okay, that is your personal grooming. Then telephone etiquettes, okay, so when you talk to any customer care, then they use telephone etiquettes. They talk to you very softly and very professionally okay if you are angry 
if you are angered get angered but the telephonic adjective is not anger to you in any situation that is the telephone etiquette business and meeting practices is needed and video conference etiquettes when we talk about like uh, we are in video conferencing okay so we use some techniques for the video conferencing there is a difference uh, when we talk about the telephony coming together to make you a complete professional so what's in it for you